אני בוז'ו, כאילו יהיה, הנורדן אינדיג'ני קאז, אבל כמה כאן מנוע נסוואק מרק אינדורנג' בא, אני שנה בהקינג אינדורנג'י נמי דודם, אני שנה במנוע ז'גנה שנדאו, כאילו מארגן מנוע שקיבל וסנדאו, נשים את הנאה שבז'ק אינדיסו בבונווי. So hello everyone, uh, my name is Josh Lewis, uh, you can also call me Noden. Um, I'm one of two Indigenous Student Support Coordinators in the OCDSB. Uh, my family comes from Wukwemekong First Nation, but I grew up in Sudbury, Ontario, also known as Nisuakamuk. I'm Anishinaabe, also Shaganash, or white. Um, I'm an educator and a helper in the community, and I'm also 31 winters old. And that's a little bit about who I am, my identity, what I represent. And um, so let me go ahead for listening. Today I want to talk a bit about um, our upcoming Indigenous uh, speaker series. And I also wanted to share, you know, about what, what land back means. Because I think it's going to be a concept that is brought up, you know, from our guest speakers. And it's a really important right now in Indigenous communities. Um, this movement or this um, idea of, of land back and what that means. And so, again, I'm not an expert, but I can just share a bit of my perspective um, to you teachers and students and families that are watching, um, just so you get a better understanding of, like, what I think it means. And, again, correct me if I'm wrong at any point, too. <laughs> but um, I think for me, when, when you're going you're gonna to hear from these speakers and they're going to talk about their experiences, because these folks, they, they, live, um, they live on the land. And they they take care of the land, you know. They're 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 land defenders. And so um, this week we have Isaac Murdoch and uh, Kanahu Spaniel speaking um, throughout the week, and they're going to be talking a bit about their their lived experiences <clears throat> protecting the land and and reclaiming. And so I think when we hear land back for for many non-indigenous folks, it's a scary thing. It's kind of like ooh, indigenous folks want their land back. And I think that's a huge part of it, but I, I think it's also connected to like wanting a lot more back, you know, wanting our cultures back, our languages back, our, our, our communities, our way of being back. Because uh, if you look at indigenous nations across Turtle Island, um, everything about our culture is connected to the land. Again, our languages speak directly to like what, what you see, it's description of the land. Um, our, uh, our ceremonies are part of the land. All of the tools that um, are part of our ceremonies come from the land. Our medicines come from the land. Our traditional foods are so important and they come again from the land. So everything has always been about the land being our, our most important uh, our most important thing in our, in our lives. The way I, I've been taught about what Anishinaabe means is that Literally, it's the people who are lowered here to do good things. And essentially, that means take care of the land. That's, our, that's how we are described as people. Um, you know, so when I think about land back, it's really, we want all of that back. We want to be our own people again. You know, and I think that's where a lot of this uh, movement comes from. And it's coming from young people who've learned about the history of Canada and how Indigenous folks have been treated um, through all these, uh, you know, assimilation tactics and all these things that exist. Um, you know, young people are saying, no, no more. This is not right. And um, if you look at, you know, how Canada came to be, it really is about how they were able to displace Indigenous folks from across Turtle Island so that they can, so they basically could, you know, clear, clear the country and and take up space and, and move indigenous folks and then also assimilate them and through residential schools and stuff, right? So the history of Canada has really been really detrimental to indigenous folks. And again, the biggest thing they took from us was the land because the land is everything in our, in our culture. And so I think that's um, a big part of land back. And when you hear about it, um, don't be scared of it because it it's really about Indigenous folks reclaiming their sovereignty and their human rights and essentially becoming like who that who we who we are, you know, being being allowed to be 
indigenous and not have to face any racism or prejudice or like, you know, anything like that. So again, these speakers you're going to be hearing from this week are, are amazing in the sense that they, they bring a lot of lived experience and teachings from like their elders and knowledge keepers in their communities. And so I really, I really hope that you can tune in this week, um, Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> again, Isaac Murdoch will be sharing um, in, in the, I think around the afternoon sometime. And um, then Kana Host Manuel alongside Isaac Murdoch are going to be sharing Friday afternoon. And so um, we'll make sure to have those links down below in the comments section. But um, again, just have that in mind when you're listening to them speaking. And uh, when you when you see land back, when you see those um, movements across Turtle Island, those actions and those uh, young people that are standing up for, for what they believe is right, that's what that means, you know. And uh, myself as an Indigenous person, I stand with those young people because I understand that, like, a lot of bad stuff has happened here. And it's time for us to reclaim who we are because it's our inherent right, you know. So the land... That is the most important thing, in my opinion, and from what I understand from learning about my teachings is that the land is so important to us. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today on this on this Monday afternoon, and uh, I hope that everyone's doing well, and uh, take some time today to go for a walk and breathe in that, 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 that cold air out there, breathe in that air and, and take it in and just uh, be grateful that, you know, we're here and we're healthy. So, Jimmy Wedge, Bumma Peak Wapman. Until next time, take care.